Hey, what's up YouTube? Kylie here, and today I wanted to show you guys an upper body dumbbell workout that you can do on the military bench. Now, typically, most people use the military bench to do a bunch of shoulder presses, but today we're going to get a little creative. We'll be doing three different exercises, one for our shoulders, one for our biceps, and one for our back. So, the first exercise we're going to be doing here is called Arnold Dumbbell Presses, probably my favorite exercise to build mass in my shoulders. We're going to begin by hoisting the dumbbell bells up with our palms facing us, okay? As we press up at the midpoint of each rep, we're going to rotate our palms so they're facing each other, and then we're going to continue rotating them until they're facing out, right? We're going to simulate that same rotation as we bring them down, and we're just going to stay within this range of motion right here, just like this. Maximize the full range of motion and make sure that the dumbbells come down until they're about level with your chest, right? It's a great exercise because the rotation of your palms is going to allow you to hit your front deltoids, your middle deltoids, even a little bit of your rear deltoids too. So we're going to try to keep our reps between 10 and 12 per set. Here we go. So, now that we hit our shoulders, we're going to be hitting our biceps now. This exercise is called sitting supinated curls. So, similar concept. You're going to begin here with both your arms fully extended at a dead hang position, right? With your palm facing inward. You're going to curl the dumbbell up, and at the midpoint of each rep, you're going to rotate your palm so it's facing you. Then you're going to continue to curl up as far as you can go. You're going to contract your bicep and then slowly bring the dumbbell down until your arm's at a full extension once again. And then we're just going to alternate on each side here, just like this. All right. Now, this rotation here in your palm is going to allow you to hit the brachialis portion of your bicep and the peak of your bicep, right? Seems like a subtle movement, but it's going to allow you to hit multiple subsidiary muscle groups. So here we go. We're going to try to keep our reps between six and eight with one rep constituting a full curl on each side. Okay, here we go. That's one. So, hit our shoulders, hit our biceps. Third and final exercise is going to be hitting our back. It's called bent over flies. Probably have heard of these before. Um, more of a sculptor exercise, so we're going to lower the weight and increase the reps. We're going to start by leaning forward, right? Our arms are going to remain down, but we're going to keep a bend in our elbow at all times. So when we raise up, it's sort of like a reverse hugging motion, just like this. Right? So we're going to be hitting our upper back where our rhomboidus muscle is. But we're also going to be hitting a little bit of our rear deltoids too. Uh, like I said, a sculptor exercise. So let's try to keep our reps between 12 and 15%. Here we go. So that's one circuit. We're going to go through a second time now. Minimal rest in between sets. We're really trying to elevate our heart rate and hit our upper body. Starting with our Arnold presses. Here we go.
right into our seated supinated dumbbell curls. Remember to control the weight as you're coming down on these. All right, finishing with our bent over dumbbell flies. exercises that you can do on the military bench to hit your shoulders, your biceps, and your back. Now remember, form is critical on every single exercise that you do, but especially with those Arnold presses and the supinated curls, that rotation in your wrist is going to allow you to hit multiple muscle groups of your shoulders and your biceps. Uh, for more weighted workouts, be sure to check out the website, SculptedMuscle.com. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know how you did, and I'll see you in the next video.